back again to where I started life with my kiddos. Yeah, Jericho, where I started life is here. Hi, hi, people, and how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Esila. I came back to Jericho where I started live. If you've not watched my other video, you can watch and see this is the place where I started live in Jericho. I could not afford to pay 2000 for one room. So go back there and watch. Welcome. This is the room, the Mabati room where I was living in Jericho. But now it has a new owner. I requested her to show you where I started live. Self-confused. So now I've come to follow up on the story about the lady who, who was hosting me here. Not really hosting. I, I had rented a room here. So that's why I've come to follow up. To follow up on the story. So I've been told the guy who can give me the number is not him, but I'm waiting for him. I must meet him and know the whereabouts of that mama so as I can go and see her. But I've been told she's there, so I'm so happy. I'll go to the empty to look for her. Okay. So hi guys, this is Esila. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I came to Jericho where where I was living. If you go back to my videos, you will see where I started right in Nairobi. So I came to check if I'll, I'll find out where that lady, who was my landlady, went. And I've met a neighbor who was a good friend those years. He's here with me. He's called Moaz. He'll tell you more. So we are doing an interview. So as he can tell me more about the lady, she was called Wandakano. Where she is, maybe where she went, that is why I've come to you. So, so maybe introduce introduce as you understand, this in Mbaza Jericho, kuna entrance in Moja, kuna pande ya right na, ya left there. So, kiingia it depends, the direction in na ingia. So, they are good friend, Matilani, ni kwa pande ingine, ya likuwa mekomboleswa. Uh, but, by then, ni kwa mdogo sana. So, si kwa ta nume start life. So, ya, si kwa na jua, uh, Match maybe, yeah. uh, but for Andavano, 
tumeishi na yeye kutokaamini kwa mtoto kwa sababu alikuwa ni jirani yangu na wandavano alikuwa na some of the good things na bad things kama kawaida ya binadamu but alikuwa ni mama anaweza saidia mtu kusema tu kweli ukimsha muelewa yes alikuwa na kelele alikuwa na matusi but where at the end of the day alikuwa ni mtu generous understanding understanding mm. eh hey, unakumbuka hata kama mabishi mabishi yani alikuwa anajitolea na moyo wake akiamua ni kujitolea wakati nyumba zilikuwa zinataka kuolewa yeye yeah, yuko for front line wakati huko alikuwa anafanya mali alikuwa anafanya alikuwa ni front line unfortunately after kutaya wandawano alienda mashambani na since hakuwa na mtu anaweza atia nyumba ali trust aliamua kuuza nyumba but alikuja kuuza nyumba ali lose eh, a daughter Paston ambaye alikuwa anampenda na hiyo kifua yake ili muaffect tu sana because walikuwa sha bond walikuwa sana so hata yeye hakukaa for long after sha enda huko amesettle alienda na akapata kuzika nimesikia niko heartbroken nilikuwa nafikiria huyo mama after kunisaidia that much maybe alirudi huko nyumbani ama alihama ama alinaweza enda kunisaidia ama alinaweza enda nikapelekea kaskari unaona bila unaendanga kukutishia mtu shukrani juu ya mungu bende alinitorolate for 9 months alinuweka for 9 months nikiwa kazi yenye sleep for 9 months anakuja na kelele anakuja na matusi but mimi nilikuwa tunanyamaza ndio unajua hii nyumba ya wenyewe naishi ni ya current na mimi hapa silipi na simwambii hiyo kazi nafanya silipi kwa sababu ningemwambia wenyewe angenirusha ange nje so alikuwa anakuja saa tatu usiku ama saa nne hapo anaanzia kwangu huyu yeah. mstana amelala alipika alipika na nini kama ana pesa ya kulipa rent sasa hiyo makelele yote mimi nilifungulia nilifungulia for 9 months nikasema sasa jiungonda ameni bless na amenifikisha mahali amenifikisha wacha nikunje nitafute huyu madam kama hako nimwambie at least asante na sio ile asante ya tumtamfanyia kitu kwa nilikuwa nataka tu nimuone nimwambie kwa mdomo alinisaidia tu si kupata hiyo chance after to move out si kupata chance ya kumwambia asante after i moved out nilienda jamhuri nikakaa huko for kitu tu ya sarafu sasa nikahamia kwangu sai i live comfortably and i thank god napenda sana kufanya hizi video kwa sababu huwa najua kama saa hii nimerudi jeripo kuonyesha watu mahali nilitoka kwa single room ya 2000 yenye singeweza kulipa na saa hii niko nyumba yangu yenye iko na rooms zingine hata hazitumii ndio huwa tunaambiwa ni vizuri kurudi at least useme asante hiyo ndio asante ilikuwa inanirudisha hapa kuambia tu hiyo manda asante nimbaie hata ka shopping nimwambie alinisaidia those days na vile nilimpea hiyo pesa ya hiyo 9 months aliniambia asanti sana wangali na mahali utaenda Mungu akufungulie njia and i believe am where i am today because of those blessings za wangapana and that's why i came back to say thank you na vile sasa sijampata na nimepata mwasi na alikuwa jirani yangu mzuri na alikuwa na sisters wawili nime nime promise mwasi nitakuwa nakunja nikikuja kanisa nitakuwa napitia nikimsalimia kwa sababu tuliishi na wao vizuri tukiwa friends walikuwa wananiuliza wangali ni nini huwa unaulizwa na wandavano nawaambia msinjaji ni maneno tu yake wanashindwa huyu ana bili yangu akelele every time kwa nini singewaambia mimi mfanya kazi every day Monday to Friday na siliki lakini nilinangana nilikuwa napanda gari hapa nikiwa na pesa ya kwenda Kenyatta na sina ya kurudi so hizo memories nikikumbuka hizo vitu zote i have every reason to come back and say thank you that's why i'm here na na kusikia wanda bano ayuko tena hiyo kitu imenifanya nisikie vibaya lakini we don't question god kama hiyo kitu ilifanyika ilifanyika let her soul rest in peace but mungu anajua mimi nilikuwa nataka nimtafute tu nimrudishie tu shukrani si kumfanyia kitu kwa kurudi tu kusema asante hata bila kitu 
that alone is enough. But if you build a career, build a career, I thank God. Na pia wewe mwanzo na kwa pia ni asanti sana ubarikiwe hata kukubali kukuta kwa interview kama hii ninashukuru tu sana kabisa na nitaendelea nitaendelea kukuta kutembea ume yani you're so inspiring sijaiona nasikia tunasoma so many things but unaenda ukishafanikiwa una hata unasahau mali unasahau may God bless you na hata Yeah. Na nitaendelea kukunja, kutendea, I'll always be coming to visit. Hakina wambo, hakina wambaide, kuambie na wapenda sana, na kubuka those days. Na nitakunja, tutaonana na wawo, na nitakuwa na kunja with your family again. So my people, that is enough. I had said I'll go to help to look for that lady, but now since she's no longer there, nimepata a new family, ya kina mwazi, tiyo nitakuwa na kunja kutendea. Continue watching my videos. I'll always be there to inspire you, to tell you that don't you ever lose hope. Where you are today is not where you will be tomorrow. Just work hard, have, have dreams, work hard towards achieving them, and God will take you there. Continue watching. We are almost at a thousand subscribers. Views we are down, but continue watching, my friends. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So many bye bye. 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 bye.